Another big story we are tracking tonight, Boom Supersonic once again broke the sound barrier during test flights today, but it's what we found out today about last month's test flight that is really raising eyebrows. Yeah, the breakthrough could lead to faster flights across the country. WFM News 2's I. Denise McMiller talked to the company CEO about the exciting development. Yeah, Chad, a small team of 50 people did something never done before fly faster than the speed of sound without a sonic boom. That's the loud noise an airplane makes when it travels faster than the speed of sound. The CEO tells me this was something they didn't think was possible, but learned along the way the sky may not be the limit to what they can achieve. What we have done now six times is shown the world that we can design, develop, test safely a supersonic airplane. You're looking at XB1's second supersonic test flight today in the Mojave Desert. All three of the passes that we've done today also produced no sonic booms. That statement from a boom test engineer is historic. We can break the sound barrier and we can fly supersonic without creating an audible sonic boom. That's something we call Boomless Cruise. Boom Supersonic CEO Blake Scholes says this is significant because it means they can fly at the speed of sound over land. The kind of thing that sounds like, you know, too good to be true. But what the airplane behind me proves it's not too good to be true. The federal government has had a ban on private supersonic flights over land because of the supersonic boom that comes with it. That means Boom's larger Overture jet, which will be built at PTI Airport starting next year, could travel to more places if the rules are changed. Which we're hopeful uh, that th this administration will help get the rules fixed to allow that. There's an opportunity for us to see more business come to Greensboro um, if this in indeed does mean that there will be more airplanes ordered because there are more markets now available to this faster flying. Boom already has contracts with three airlines, United, American, and Japan. Sho says they'll need to increase production because they anticipate the market for supersonic flights to increase. We were already planning to create, uh, you know, over 2,000 jobs in Greensboro at the super factory where we'll be assembling Overture. And with the market getting larger, that means we're going to need even more talented men and women to help put these airplanes together. City leaders say they knew going into this partnership there would be changes, and they're ready to soar with this latest news. In Greensboro, I, Tanise McMiller, WFMY News 2.